Hello, so this question is immediate food delivery to you. So you want to write a solution to find a percentage of immediate orders and you have to run to two decimal place. So the immediate order is going to be the first order for customer is order with the earliest order stay that the customer made. So we look at this order date and customer prep delivery date. So let's just look at the table first. So we have the customer ID one. Let's just look at the customer ID one. It doesn't matter which delivery we have. So again, the first order is going to be what? We compare these two data and then we find out the mean. So it's going to be this one. So does the order day is equal to the customer Path delivery day prefer I believe and then uh, they are now right so let's look at another one custom ID let me erase so custom ID 2 custom ID 2 so the mean is going to be this one and then the order date is equal right so we, we know uh, Two is immediate order. The first one, the customer ID is schedule order. And three, three, these are the three. So the mean value is gonna be this, all right? So they are not equal, so it's schedule. So the last one is four, four is equal, so it's immediate. So look at the data. So it's actually 50-50, right? So you return 50%. All right, so one thing for this, you need to query the mean, the earlier state for the order date, for the custom ID. So how do you write this? It's straightforward. So just say with first order as, and then you're gonna say select. So what you need to do is you want to select the customer ID and also the mean order date date and then when you have mean max you definitely need to group by so from delivery group by so i group by the id custom id and then select the mean and then what i need to do this is my sub query so what i need to do i need to find out the immediate percentage so how do I do this? So I need to run to this two decimal place, right? I need to get average for the orders. Uh, order day is order day equal to this? Oh no, this. And then if this is true, I'm going to multiply by hundred because percentage. So the name is going to be immediate. Right, and then I need to select the table. Um, so another thing is I need to use a sub query I, I was using. So I need to make sure the query, I mean, let's select the table from my orders, first order. So just based on the delivery, customer ID, order day, customer preferred delivery day, which two are the associated with the first order order table? It's going to be customer ID and then order day, right? So customer ID or order day. And then I technically just return everything from my order, first order table. And then he will return whatever we have into here. So yeah, so this is the solution. So uh, if you have a question, leave a comment, and I'll see you next.